Hi everyone, it's Mark and welcome to my Great River Shakespeare Festival digs, my apartment here in Minnesota. I'm leaving for Italy on Saturday, actually Vinci Italy, thanks to Da Vinci Wine Company. And so I thought I'd do a little video about how to travel in Europe. And um, I think there's some things inside this box that will help me get through this. So let's open it up and see what Da Vinci sent me. I love this little wine display right there. First thing they have in here is a uh, kind of sock, a travel sock for your iPad or for your Kindle. When you're going on vacation, sometimes in the evening you like to read, it's great to bring your Kindle. You can also bring your iPad so you can kind of search things or discover things while you're in Italy. Next, oh great, here is a luggage tag. What's great about this is because it's yellow, you'll be able to notice it. Lots of times you'll go to the airport, of course, and you're standing at the carousel line to pick up your luggage and it's black suitcase after black suitcase after black suitcase. What's great about this is I'll be able to find mine. I actually happen to have my suitcase here and uh, I already have one that has a little Hotel Rome tag on it, but I'm gonna add this uh, Da Vinci one to it. <music> So talk about suitcase sizes. When you go to Europe, you really want to tr pack light. Don't be taking every piece of clothing you ever had. The thing is, most places in Europe, especially in Italy, don't have elevators, so you'll have to lug your luggage up yourself. Also, you know, it's summer, it's gonna be warm. I'm gonna bring a couple pairs of pants, light linen pants, I'll wear a couple shirts, and kind of swap things out. I think women sometimes think they have it worse than men, but actually I think they have it nicer. You can wear a simple skirt, some sandals, a little scarf, you look gorgeous in Italy, like all the women do. Next what's in here is, oh, excellent, it's a journal. And what's great about having a journal is that you can, I know if you're not a writer, you think, oh, I can't write. But what's great about a journal is that you can actually write down what you've experienced for the day. Take notes at a restaurant about dishes that you liked or great places you saw, little towns. Also kind of things that caught your eye. So later when you're remembering the vacation, you can go back to your journal and go, oh, that's right, there was this great thing. Or you can add photos to it. It's a great thing to have a little journal to kind of take along with you on vacation. Next is, oh, well this is not going with me to Italy, but it's actually a wine cooler, fantastic. That'll come in handy. Uh, next they have in here, oh they have some uh, wine glasses. So uh, these are staying at home too, these will not be going with me, but there's some great uh, wine glasses here. And one of the things I'm going to talk to them in Da Vinci about is uh, what size wine glass goes with what wine. I think it's important. I think I want to kind of demystify the whole wine experience. I think there's a lot of kind of uh, snobbery or people think that is true about wine and I think the people at Da Vinci don't think that. So we're gonna take a little look at that. But great, two wine glasses and they're glass. That's fantastic. Thanks. Uh, let's see, what else is in this box? Oh, here's something great. Well, I don't know what it is yet, but it's, oh yeah. This is a travel adapter for electricity for your current. What's great about this one, it has multiple settings. Uh, this one happens to be the setting for Italy. And what's great is that you plug this into the wall and then you can plug your American items into here, like your hair dryer. Not that I need that. But you can plug in like your computer, uh, your iPhones, and this one happens to have some uh, UBS ports, so you could also charge your phone or um, any other device with that. So this is great. Again, thanks DaVinci. And what's left in here? Uh, lots of black uh, stuffing paper. Oh. This is cool. These are actually wine skins. These are, you put a bottle of wine in here and you close it up and pack it in your uh, checked baggage and uh, they'll go through customs. And hopefully there won't be any breakage. This is fantastic. I always wanted to use these and I haven't. So I'll be using these wine skins when I go to Italy. I think that's it. That's in the box, thanks Da Vinci. What you do want to remember is uh, euros. Some people say you should use traveler checks. This is my 10th trip to Italy. I've yet to use travel checks in Italy. 
The great thing about going to Italy is that they use ATMs just like we do. I would get a, some Euro when you go, before you go. Um, when I first traveled in 2001, there were no, um, there were bank ATMs inside the airport. Unfortunately, since then, they've removed those so that people will use the currency exchange booths that are in the airport. So um, I would probably get 100 euro, make sure you can get yourself out of the airport. And then once you get into town, into any town in Italy, there's always a bank. There's always a bancomat, which is an ATM machine. Look for the British flag for English. Once you hit that British flag, it's just like banking here in America. I think that's it. I'm gonna pack this stuff up, try to decide what in the world to wear, what I'm gonna bring home in this, and uh, how many notes I'm gonna take in my journal. I hope you follow me at beyondthepasta.com for this Da Vinci experience, or on Facebook at Beyond the Pasta, or on Twitter at Beyond the Pasta, and uh, join the conversation, and let's, uh, let's enjoy Da Vinci wine. Thanks, everyone. Ciao, ciao. A presto in Italia. Ciao.